This is Sports Desk, brought to you by Xfinity, America's best internet service provider, according to speedtest.net. The three, Langman for that, lose the dribble, he trips, it's over, it's all over. UConn is the national champion. You know this date in UConn history. You can't forget it. March 29th, 1999, 77-74 over Duke, the Huskies' first ever national title. That 21 years ago today, they shocked the world, right? It's hard to forget. And even though we can't look ahead to any sports, well, we can always look back. Now, here's what Jim Calhoun remembers from that day. On that given day, I think that... We had done so much that if, that if we weren't going to get a championship, I wouldn't have been satisfied. But I still have been proud of our kids at that point. The game was up being a very magical game, 77-74. And I don't normally remember the, all scores, but I remember that particular score because it, uh, that reflects just how that game played out. It wasn't shock, it was elation. <laughs> I was, you couldn't say, well, we elated the world, I know that. But, uh, and yes, people thought it was a Duke Invitational. But it wasn't. They're a great team but we were just a little bit better, a little bit tougher when it needed to be. Always good to look back on that time. And, of course, for the UConn women, well, the postseason has always been a little bit more certain for them. This time of the year, this weekend, in fact, we would have been following them through the regional Sweet 16, Elite 8. Well, this isn't the first, and it's far from the last time I'm going to tell you what we would have been doing this time of year. But instead, since we could use a little bit of a smile, I'll show you how one UConn fan would be bringing some joy to the postseason in her own very unique way. I love watching them play. Love for the UConn Huskies. They do everything right. There's no one right way to show it. There's hats and caps, pom-poms and... This guy. Puppets? Yeah, you. Carol McKenzie. Oh, yes, yes. Never intended to be that fan. We were in this building at a craft fair after a game, and there was this woman who had these round-headed puppets. And she said, oh, you got to try it. They're really easy. They're lots of fun. I'm like, I don't think I could do that. That head shake didn't last long, inspired by the husky on her friend's shirt. That is the shirt you're wearing. 18 years ago, Jonathan Jr. was born. And because that's a lot to say, we call him JJ for short. Spot him in the crowd at every home game. All the way, all the way, yes! And spot a smile on every fan's face. It is so fabulous, and it's very different from who she really is. Because believe it or not, I'm really a shy person. Yeah, that's go, go. hard to believe. Yeah. But JJ has it covered. And what I love the most is that JJ is real. Because when people come up, they talk to the puppet. They don't talk to Carol. They don't talk to me. I do it to, you know, make people happy. We needed the smile, right? If you've been to a game, you've seen her. Of course, she said she planned to, of course, go to that final four. If the Huskies were going to be there, she was going to be there, too. Dan? Gabby, thanks so much. We did need that. Good to see you.